Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you my top five picks for GTK dark themes. So let's get started. So what we're gonna be using today is Ubuntu Linux. It's gonna be on 20.04, I believe. And you've probably seen my desktop many times. And I've actually been through some of the dark themes that we're gonna be talking about, but mostly these are GTK dark themes and they will work for Ubuntu, XFCE, and a bunch of other desktops that you might find along the way that support GTK. So let's jump into it. Now, again, you guys are familiar with my desktop. This is what you normally see. I do like to use a light theme on my desktops versus my laptop where it's always on a dark theme. I just prefer it because it's brighter, it's easier to see. That's just my preference on my desktops. On laptops, I prefer darker themes. It's I think it saves battery, but it also helps when I'm moving around in darker locations. It doesn't like blind me. So dark themes on my laptops, light themes on my desktop. Now this theme I do have on my channel. Um, I will leave a link to this theme itself, this light theme, but again, we are talking about dark themes on this one. So let's jump into it. Everything we talk about will be linked down in the description below. So you will have all the links to the themes that I am talking about. Um, first, I'm gonna hop over to Tweaks, Ubuntu Tweaks. And I already have them preloaded, so you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Now, default, uh, well, this theme is Orcus. Now, the default theme that you get is the Yaru. And I do like the Yaru Dark theme. It actually comes pre-installed with Ubuntu. It looks pretty nice. And I don't really mind the look. Now, this is the light theme. So I'm going to switch over to the dark. And you can see it actually looks pretty good, especially if you match it up with a pretty good dark wallpaper. Color with the orange matches pretty well. So my first pick would be the Yaru Dark theme, which comes with Ubuntu. Now, next up, we have Nordic. I really like the Nordic theme. Um, the cursor, I'm gonna match it up with Yaru. And as far as um, the icons go, you could either use Numix Circle or you could use also the Telex. So it's gonna be hard to tell. Uh, let me see if I could just switch this over here. And let's go with the Numix Circle. Okay, or with the Tela. And the Tela works pretty well with dark themes itself. So that's why I usually stick with the Tela icon theme. And if you wanted to use different colors, you can. Zafario uses pretty good, uh, is a pretty good icon theme also for Nordic. You can see it's pretty nicely matched up. It's not too dark. And if you got a good wallpaper, and I'm going to be using the Nordic theme wallpaper, everything just blends in together. Uh, the shell itself, you could also use the Nordic theme. It's just the same. It's a little bit darker. But the Nordic theme looks pretty well. It's a more of a grayish blue tone, you could say. I, I prefer this. Uh, it's easy to install. And I'm, I'm very familiar with it. It's uh, easier to name. Um, in Ubuntu, you could actually just install it through the app get command too. So it's much easier that way. But you could also download it from uh, Gnome Lux. Now, next theme I have is called the Juno. And the Juno, you could see it's a little bit more of a green slate. I, I don't even know how to describe this color, but I do like the Juno color as well. This is a pretty dark theme. It's a little bit darker than the Nordic theme. Uh, just a little bit more green and more dark, I think. And you can see how that changes. So yeah, this appearance looks pretty well. It's pretty good on the eyes. Uh, again, you could play around with the icons itself, but uh, I prefer to use either Tela icon or either that uh, Zafario icon. And they both match up really well as well. You could see how it just blends in with everything. And if I go into here, you can see all the different icons. I'm just gonna leave the downloads up and you can see. So Juno, Nordic, Yaru, those themes are pretty nice. Uh, next up we have is my favorite right now is the Dracula theme. I love this purplish look. Everything is purple. I can't believe how well everything blends in. They also have their own little icon set, which is the Dracula icon set, which also is purple. Uh, the desktop didn't change yet, but it is. That's how this would look with the Dracula set. And also the shell theme to Dracula. This is a little bit more of a purple and purple on purple. So uh, if you want to use their wallpaper on Dracula, 
you also get the purple Dracula theme as well. So it's like that. So everything blends in so well, especially Dracula has their own website called Dracula Themes. And I'll leave that link down in the description below where uh, specific applications could be themed into Dracula. So if you got like a VS Code or Notepad++ and you want to have that purplish look, you could get that as well just by going through the website. Nordic Theme also has their own website as well, but it's just not as polished. It doesn't have as much as the Dracula theme does, but Nordic also has their own little website. Now, last but not least, uh, Equilux. Equilux? Equilux? Am I saying that wrong? Probably am. But this is a really gray theme. I do like this theme as well. It's very easy on the eyes at night. And let me switch over to that. And Dracula, I'm going to change it back to a Nordic theme wallpaper. So this looks pretty well. I'm going to change the icons this icon set the zavariel icon set looks really well on dark themes so i just prefer it because it's easy to look at and it pops out at you but yes this is a very grayish theme so equilux also has um i think three or four different types of gray uh from this light gray all the way to really really dark black gray so you could definitely check that out and they do have like a really nice set of colors. I like that. I prefer this lighter one because it's easier to find wallpapers to match and it doesn't blend in with the background too much. For the darker, darker black theme, uh, if you got a really dark wallpaper, it will blend in because it's just so dark. Otherwise, uh, these two, this theme looks really well. And if you want to take a look, which I don't really recommend, which is the original theme I was using earlier, the Orcus, but they do have a dark version with the rounded corners. I don't really prefer it too much. I don't really like really rounded corners with the dark theme, but it does look pretty good. So technically, this is like my top six picks or something like that. Uh, mainly, I do recommend if you are going to go for something easy, look for Nordic. Um, you could install it all through AppGet, so you could just app install Nordic theme or something like that, and you should be able to install this without having to even go through the browser or anything. So Nordic is the easiest one out of the all. Uh, Zafario is like a really good icon set for pretty much all dark theme icons, and that's about it. Anyway, uh, that's my set of dark themes that I do like to use on my Ubuntu desktop. If you guys use a different dark theme that you prefer, let me know down in the comments below. I do like to check out as much themes as I can because that's one of my favorite things about Linux. Anyway, that is about it. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.